In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of carpal bone. You know, there are eight carpal bones in our wrist. So I'm going to explain the anatomy of carpal bone and related tissues, okay? So there are mainly four bones close to elbow, this way, proximal side. And there are four bones on the distal side, close to finger side. I'm going to explain the proximal side first, then distal part. Then I'm going to explain the thumb side first, okay? The first bone is this one. This one, in this picture, it says navicular, navicular bone. But some anatomy books say this is as a scaphoid, scaphoid. Either way, if you say navicular or scaphoid, it makes sense. In this video, I will say this bone as navicular. But you can say scaphoid, okay? Either way, it doesn't matter. People will understand. Then, next to navicular, this bone, this bone is lunate. Lunate, because its shape is like moon, okay? Loom, okay? And next to lunate, this bone, this bone is triquetrum. This bone is triquetrum. Triquetrum. Also, some anatomy books say this bone as triangular bone. It doesn't matter either way. Then, on the triangular bone or triquetrum bone, this is pisiform. This one is pisiform. So, review of the first row. This one is navicular or scaphoid. This one is lunate. Okay? And this one is triquetrum or triangular. This tiny one is pisiform. Okay? Four bones so far. Now I will explain the second row. The close to fingers okay so very close to navicular you see this bone this is this is trapezium 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 next to trapezium this one this guy this one is trapezoid trapezoid oh my gosh it's a little bit confusing which one was trapezium and which one is trapezoid? Okay, easy to remember. Trapezoid has articulation with thumb, okay? Trapezium has relationship with thumb, okay? So trapezium is the thumb side. It's simple way to remember, okay? So trapezium, trapezoid. Then this one is Capitate. Capitate bone. Then, this one. This one is hamate. Hamate means like hook. Hook bone, okay? So, second row is trapezium, which has articulation with thumb, okay? Trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and Hamid. Okay? By the way, this trapezium and this joint is very, very important. I think this joint is the one of the most important joints in human body. Why? Because using thumb is very, very crucial in human world. Think about it. If we can't use thumb, it's very hard to grab something. Try this. Try to grab something, maybe the glass, or maybe a computer, maybe a notebook. Try to grab something without using thumb. It's very, very hard to do. So this joint is very important to use thumb. This joint is key to use our fingers, okay? So trapezium is very important because this bone makes this articulation. Make sense? 
Then I'd like to talk about a little bit about relationship with nerve. The first nerve is here. It runs like this. This nerve is ulna nerve. Ulna nerve. Ulna nerve basically innervates this side, ring finger and pinky. And ulna nerve sometimes get impingement around pisiform and hamid bone. Why? Because this place, this place is very thin. There is not much fat tissue, there is not much muscle tissue. So this is very weak point. And people ride bike or people play a golf, people tend to have stress here, then it can create impingement here. If nerve got impingement, what happens? Then numbness around here. If people complain numbness around pinky and ring finger, most likely your yeah, ulna nerve got impingement. Okay? And very famous nerve runs the middle of copper bone right here. This one is median nerve. Median nerve innervates the flexor muscles of fingers. Then this place is very famous. This place is very famous when median nerve got impingement around here. That is carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal, carpal bones, carpal tunnel syndrome. So dysfunction of wrist, hand, fingers. Most likely the nerves are involved. Of course there are other issues, but nerve can be related many times. So in this video, I explained basic anatomy of copper bone. What is this one? This one was navicular or scaphoid. This is lunate. And this one is triquetrum or triangular bone. And this one, this tiny one is pisiform. Then second row, this one is trapezium. Trapezium. Why? Because it has articulation with thumb. Okay, it's easy to remember. Trapezium, then next to trapezium, there is trapezoid. Trapezoid. Then there is capitate, right here. Then hamate bone. Articulation in between trapezium and metacarpal bone, this one, is very, very important to grab the thing. Then ulnar nerve runs here, close to pisiform and hamate. It innervates the pinky side and ring finger side. Then there is a median nerve here. Then relationship to a median nerve, this place is carpal tunnel. When median nerve got impingement, it is the carpal tunnel syndrome. So I hope this video helps your understanding of carpal bone. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.